So the Aurora's main mission was to build the Stargate thing. But then someone was like, hey, you're kind of in the area anyway, right? You're going along the way. You're going to pass that planet where those people disappeared a decade ago. So do you mind just, you know, bringing our guy and we'll have a quick look, even though realistically, people who disappeared 10 years ago aren't going to be found. But then that was the beginning of the end because the Aurora got caught by the turret. Slingshot maneuver. It's like the kind where you use the gravitational force of the planet. Oh, that is a repair tool. I don't want to let go of my knife, just in case. <laughs> I don't think cave crawlers can exist in water, though. So I really don't think we're going to see anything crazy here. Hopefully, anyway. Do you think the people zooming us before? Who or what are you? Do you think they explore the ship? They were speaking English. Pawn Bay, locker room. Yeah, I don't know if that's like a um, translation tool or what, but they were speaking English. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. It's the turret. Alien turret. Okay, there's a lot of places here. We have to systemically explore this place. Can I go up there? Yeah, I can. Let's look around the bottom here. Thank you. Oh, it's water. I... 44.55? Just about right. No. Nothing. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. TransGov Profile Altera Corp. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation. The official supplier of the... Trans something... Federation? Consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers. Really? Began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid-22nd century. National motto, get what you deserve. <laughs> That's kind of like a... It's not entirely positive. It depends on how you read it, right? Although most transgulfs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera, literally meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce and making the transition from manufacturer to corporate state. Altera's threat to cease trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera's space is encouraged, but competition is tight and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are bought out by the state. Owners ascending to the board of directors. Well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops, submersible, originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees, but voluntarily elects to take on the roles usually served by a democratically elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in Federation courts. What is a transgov? Like a intergalactic government? Like a, as opposed to, oh, transnational government. Transnational space federation? Hmm. Altera might be bigger than I thought it was. One of the largest suppliers in spacefaring technologies. Thank goodness, because other companies probably wouldn't be able to survive here. At the minimum, we wouldn't have any blueprints. Yes. But I've got it already. Oh, we have so many blueprints to look at later. We'll do that back home. Again, don't think we can open this. Cargo Bay 4. Mmm, you're so kind. Making sure I don't die. In my explorations of the Aurora. 
Okay, that's titanium. Do I have to care about this? Not really. Nice to have a point of light, I guess. Mmm! Too many supplies now. I've got too much food. But I don't want to leave it here. Can I... Can I walk up? Or, you know what? Could I just propulse? Or, no, there's stairs on the other side. I have a propulsion cannon, okay? I don't need to, like, wrap around if I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know if you can, like... Can you fix this? I don't know, but I kind of want to keep it anyway, just because it's decoration for my home. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, I mean, most of the last row is just food. Okay, I'll... I'll take you, but I'll drop you in a heartbeat. Dude, this is dangerous. No, what? Oh! Oh, all I had to do was touch it. Wait, are we going outside? It seems to be going up again. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Huh? Okay, I get the feeling we're going outside right now. I'm just gonna open them. Forget it. Huh? There might have been another entrance. So I didn't have to go back and get the propulsion cannon. <laughs> Aurora engineering drone. Integrating new PDA data. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer Yu identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweaked the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Chief Officer Yu. Chief Technology Officer. Is she like a super engineer? She's like making the AI smarter and all that? Because she's bored? She is on this island somewhere too, or she used to be at least. She was with Officer, Second Officer Keen. This is administration. Oh, Captain's Quarters. Oh, jeez. Airlocks. I just want to see if this goes outside. It freaking does. Which means more cave crawlers again. But was it possible for me to get up here though? Because we come from the sea level. And we can't really jump that high. Dude, where are you? Oh god! Ow! It's nighttime again! We've been here for like a full night. Okay, whatever then. I want to put a beacon down, but probably not here. Yeah, I don't know how you'd get here, though. Administration. We haven't looked at living quarters yet. I remember. Don't worry. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Oh, god! I'm Whoa, okay, that actually took a lot of health from me. 
I have... Yeah, I've got enough. Administration. Chief Officer Yu? Integrating new PDA data. Altera launches the Aurora. Phase gate announced for the Ariadne arm. Altera launches the Aurora. The furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand, as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship, carrying a phase gate, bound for the Ariadne arm. The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of the Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different transgov authorities and arrive on the far side of the Ariadne arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18 months later. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion credit investment. In the absence of existing infrastructure in the region, the vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altera Corp currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outmaneuvered a cabal of Mongolian corporations, operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. It's all about making money. Just like the Degazi CEO. Integrating new PDA data. Notes to self. So here we are, finally, in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate, to build more expensive ships, to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy, or just ourselves? June 18, Yu's birthday. 40, weeks before we get home. 400, weeks it feels like before we get home. Not enough, credits Altera's paying me. 1454, cargo bay code. We came from the inside, so I feel like this is probably open already? Hey, rising above the competition, prawn suit, mark three. Prawn stands for something cool, we'll look at it later. The pressure, okay, whatever, read it later. <laughs> so whose office was this then? They did mention Yu's birthday, but it might not be her office. Would she put down her own birthday in her notebook? Okay, so this... I thought it was gonna be Captain's Quarters, but no. Captain Hollister's Quarters. Yeah, that's why when we... Earlier... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, we have the propulsion cannon, so I don't know what I'm uh-oh-ing about, but... <laughs> okay, fine. Dang it, okay, so you do need it. No matter which way you come from. Yeah, but earlier we unlocked the door to come in here. That was probably... What the hell am I doing? That's a freaking repair. <laughs> That's probably the code we were intended to use. There's still two we haven't used yet. One for cabin one, which I assume is in the living quarters. And the captain's quarters. Would the captain's quarters be next to the living quarters? Would be likely. I would assume the captain's quarters would be in the front of the ship. The front, which is broken. Yeah. <laughs> well, so much for that, I guess. Oh, there's a sea moth bay here. Oh, all right. Not that I really need a sea moth. I guess we could have made it here without a sea moth, but the Reaper would be kind of scary. Integrating new PDA data. VR Sweet Log. Loading program Desert Island Drama. VRAT. Three players, normal resources, spawning players on beach. It's the log of their playing. Player 1 washed away by tide. Player 2 traded a coconut with player 3 for 10 credits. 3 planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. 3 has grown a coconut tree. They've eaten a coconut. He's not hungry anymore. Traded a coconut with player 2 for 30 credits. 
Two has eaten a coconut but is still hungry. Three is becoming coconut king by selling even more coconuts for building a tent. Three is inside the tent. What the hell happened to one? Oh, they just washed away entirely. They died in the very beginning. Holy crap. That's awful. Two, three is sleeping cozily inside a tent. Two is cold. Night falls. Passing ship offering trading. Two trades money for a musket. Three has been shot twice in the head while sleeping. Oh my god. Two wins. Two has died from cold and starvation. Damn. You never know who's gonna win until the end, huh? Hopefully that's not gonna be our fate. Really hoping. Okay, there's a billion sea moth fragments here, in case if you haven't found it yet. Sea moth death. Okay. I might just want to dump some of this because my freaking... Yeah. Sea moth... Depth module. Make one. Enhances safe diving depth. Does not stack. That sounds like something I can add onto my sea moth. Huh? Right. Just making sure it's only the sea moth fragment. I can pick it up. Well, I can scan it anyway. Just to get it out of the way. Now it's just floating here. <laughs> no, so this is it. This is it. But hey, that was a great find. We can modify the sea moth, but I don't know how to. We don't have the capability to yet, I guess. Okay, I gotta take a little bit to get my bearings straight again. We came from here. Hmm. The living quarters is here? We haven't been here yet. This is drive room. Drive room? The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Okay, I definitely have that. Let's go. Depending on where the turret shot the ship, well, the front, the drive room might be one of the... Oh god! One of the most dangerous places. Especially because we know there's radiation leaking from somewhere, because there's onboard nuclear power generation. Oh, there's a lot going on here. It's huge. Cyclops... Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Exactly. This is... This is where the radiation is hottest. Breach. Drive core shielding breach. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick metal shell, which breached in multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until it's sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. The procedure should only be attempted with the appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. It's not fully charged, but it'll do. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay, I'm gonna forget to pick that up. Let's see. Water? Cyclops engine efficiency module. New blueprint acquired. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay, we gotta figure out where these breaches are. There's like eight more. <laughs> Is this really how this works? <laughs> There's a hole in this thing and we just fix it. We just stuff it with whatever this is. Breach repaired. Further breaches detected. There's eight more still. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. I mean, there's one more right here. Oh, God. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. 
containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oh my god, this is so DIY. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. What is the repair tool doing, actually? Is it like synthesizing new material from scanning what this is? Like, what is actually happening here? <laughs> well, whatever it is, I'm glad it's working. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oh, and there it is. Last but not least. Actually, you are the last one. There's fish here. Drive core breach sealed. Leader. Wait, this guy kind of looks like it kind of looks like a leech or something. I don't want to touch it. Can I? A little bit afraid of touching it. I can't pick it up. Ah! Ah! That's what I thought! That's what I thought! Wait, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Holy crap! What do I do? Oh! Oh! Oh, I gotta like whack myself. Holy... God, look at how much health it took. My freaking god. This is like Reaper Leviathan levels. Actually! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, scary stuff. Okay, okay, we did good here. What did it say? The radiation? It actually didn't put a log here, but I'm pretty sure it just said the radiation. Well, the breach has been fixed. I don't know if the radiation is gonna go away immediately. But it seems like that's a long-term plan, so that's cool. Uh, there's another module here. Let me check that out. Or maybe I can't. Hold on. Were those bleeders here the whole time? Those guys might have done some adaptation already because they've been in this room, meaning they can withstand radiation. Or maybe it's like a natural species here that can do that. Why don't we read about it? Now, you know what? There's enough to read here already. We'll figure the bleeders out later. Jeez, though. If I didn't stop it, would it just keep sucking on me? Ah. Couldn't pick it up. Probably for- Oh, yeah. Probably for the best. Are we good? Take this out. Switch it. I think so. Good, good, good. We're fixing things. We're making progress. Now, last but not least, the living quarters. Is it the last? We'll see. Wait, am I... Did I go too far back? Nope. Should be right here. Oh, hold on. I can't actually reach... Oh. Hmm, I thought I could move this stuff away. But maybe what I gotta rely on is the ladder instead. So if I want to do that, probably gotta... Ah! Take away some more of this. Does this work? No, the ladder is warped. Okay, this is, uh, we need to find a way- Oh, this one, this one. Maybe? Oh, what the- What the- Ah. Uh, okay. That was a lot of health lost already. Oh my freaking god. That is not looking good for me, actually. If we get attacked right now, that'd be pretty bad. No, maybe this way. This way is where I want to go. Yeah, okay, there we go. The captain's quarters better be here because we still haven't found it yet.
All right. Okay. Those are nice. The power cell is two batteries. It is nice. Living quarters. Supply. Canteen. Everything is on fire. Oh. Mm. Wait a little bit. Oh, I don't I don't need this, but it's nice to know. Like I I doubt I'll ever come back here again, but I really can't pick any of this up. I got I got to eat the stuff I came here with. Oh, now we're ready. Yeah, I'm going to pick up water though because I don't have infinite water. This is just normal filtered water. Oh, nutrient blocks. Oh, yay, more posters. Mm-hmm. Oh, food, snacks, potato chips. <gasps> potato chips. Oh, okay. Definitely want that. Just in case. Mm hmm. I think if I wait until this drops below 100, if I take it, it stacks, right? Because it goes over. So I'm going to actually maybe wait a little bit. Or I could throw away the non-functional stuff, but that's no fun. <gasps> oh my god, the fuel's gone already. That was fast. Can I break this? What's scannable? Single wall shelf. Keep calm. Oh, it's so cute! It's a space kitty! We're always in the water, so we don't really think about it much, but we're in space. This is a spaceship. Uh, I'll drop a battery. Drop two batteries. Anything for the kitty. Today's menu. Integrating new PDA data. Space Bear Volute. Since their introduction to the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, microscopic tardigrades, space bears, adapted and flourished. Condense into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup. They're eating tardigrades! Oh my god. Perfect ingredient for long-haul space flights. Main. Cottage pie or nutrient block. <laughs> Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy, served with mashed Chinese potato. Oh, that's kind of like patine. And sautéed Chinese potato plant leaves. For the time-conscious consumer. Dessert. Dried fruits and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon in combination with a modified battery charger resulted in the venting into space of all dehydrated desserts. Oh, fruit and nuts will be the only available dessert for the next 39 weeks. Oh my freaking god. Well, blame the one guy who ruined it for everybody. This is probably some kind of fridge. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. I don't want to get burnt again. Mac and cheese. Oh, garlic bread. Frick, I'm hungry now. Oh, I'm hungry now. Uh. So that's canteen. Locked. Locked. Kevin 1. Kevin 3. Single bed. I've already made a double one. I have this one too. Carry all. Is that an inventory upgrade? A duffel bag? Okay, 99. I'm gonna eat one. Yeah, I went to 170. But now I'm not gonna be... Like, I'm not going to need food for a long time. Uh, let me just drop this for a second. Because I'm not sure how much, how many spaces I need for this thing. Common bag for transporting personal items. What? Can I use it or what is this?
What? Oh, okay, there's a storage here. I'd love to take it, mm, but I feel like... Wait, can I put stuff in here and then, like, pick it back up? That would be useful. No, you can't carry it! Oh my god. Uh, I want to keep it, but I feel like I don't have that kind of space, man. I'm dropping all this food and whatever. Oh, this is so painful to look at. Okay, I'll definitely... I'll definitely have water, for sure. <laughs> I want all these things. I want to bring it all home, because decoration and all that. My mental health, you know. There's a picture of a girl here. Oh, that's so painful to look at. Okay, well, there's multiple bags. I'll just take one. <laughs> it's useless, though, but I want it. Password? Codes and clues? Wait. It was in the... Uh, where was it? It was in the locker document. Where was that? Sweet offer. 1869. More stuff here. Can I drink one right now? Can water go above 100? No, the water can't. Wall shelves. Acquired. Responsible autonomous relationships. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, this is a- this is a public document. I'm gonna leave these ones for later. It's not directly related. I want to find out about what happened to the people at the Aurora. Arcade Gorge toy? I'm thinking I'll probably never come back in here again. That's why I'm picking all of it up. But I don't have this kind of space for this. Oh, what about the electricity? Captain's quarters! Captain's quarters. Two six seven eight. Oh, two six seven nine. Give me those sweet blueprints. New PDA data. Oh my god. Neptune escape rocket. Escape rocket time capsule. Hold on. Captain's log. Loading program, Craig McGill Simulator. One player. Boreal 9. Wait, this is a game again? You are exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived here in explodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Farm alien plants. That's just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Starwall eggs. While the starwall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast, space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm. And besides, their mother is extremely angry at you. Accept your fate. Craig McGill knows there's no reasoning with a mother scorned. You're not so much torn apart, a swallowed whole, and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in the service of the starwall's continued survival. It's a survival game. Craig McGill is some kind of like really famous survivor, I guess. So what do we get? We got... We got, uh, what is it? Time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a number of small items, time capsules are often fabricated by maroon survivors seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future, or to leave evidence of their plight, which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles have time capsules by default. Altera requests that these have tools and resources for people who may discover them later. 
Uh, I have a friend who has played Subnautica already. And she was saying that I should probably not read time capsules if I find them because they can have spoilers in them. So that's, uh, if I see one, I might not open it. I probably won't. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I want the poster. Oh, this is so cool. It's so cool. And that's it, right? I think so. Yeah, my inventory is completely full. I feel like this is a great time for us to uh, get going. But we got another blueprint though, something about the rocket. We'll read it when we get home. Is this it then? Have I exhausted everything? <gasps> ah, there's so many little goodies. Ah, ah, drop a power saw. <laughs> drop something useful over something that's not useful. I should probably... The Seamoth outside, I should change the battery right away. Dang it. I need inventory space. But I care about the random items more. <laughs> okay, well, if we ever come back here, these resources will still be here. No, there's a little bit more on this side. Actually, mm, yep. Relationship contract legal recording. New PDA data. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. <laughs> I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. The Aurora trip is like multiple years, right? So yeah, I can see a lot of relationships happening here. But why is Wilson speaking like a freaking robot drone? She's using all those business buzzwords. I hate it. Hey, this is a different poster. It's in the sea. Wait, what about the other prawn poster? Was that like a different style? I don't know. Land, sea. There must be an air one too. Frick, I don't have space for this! Ah! Drink the water. Yeah, drink the water. <laughs> what about the other poster? Oh my gosh. I'd love to see everything, but please, don't give me anything new to hold anymore. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that little spot. Huh? These are all empty. Nobody got out of here. Altera Alms pamphlet. New PDA data. Okay, later. That's a long one. These people never had a chance. They never got a chance. Cabin 5, no go. Cabin 6. All of these are empty, right? I'm pretty sure. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. I meant to use it. Whatever. Batteries. Okay, while I'm here anyway. Anything that's running out of battery? The propulsion cannon. Hmm. Should definitely just swap it out then. Should have been doing that earlier. Just swap it out with this one. And then drop the 30%. 
Anything else needing battery? Flashlight? Yeah, okay. Uh oh, which one was which? This one? We always need more batteries? Maybe? But, damn, there's so many here. Okay, we have this one already. <laughs> that one's like, giving them free advertisement. <laughs> but I want to check out the prawn one again. The one I left behind earlier? Was it a different one, or...? Land. No, this one is the same. The one I have is land. Sea and land. Okay. I think it's my cue to go for now. We can always come back here if we really, really want to. Actually, I want to take the power cell. If we have space anyway. But I'm pretty sure we've seen most things. We can come back. It's a bit of a pain, but we can. At the minimum, I don't see anything around for now. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Go home! There is so much to look at, holy crap. Something about a nuclear rocket, whatever. Definitely gotta look at that. It said escape on it, I'm pretty sure. Ah! Where are we? Now that we have one challenge getting out of here. The Reaper. Oh, the place is still shaking. Well, we came here fine without the Reaper, so hopefully it's gonna be okay. But it is a unknown factor. Especially after being here for so long, we might be a little bit like, Hey, there's no predators around here, but no. There's a whole bunch around the ship. A whole bunch. Alright, cuckoo! Cuckoo. And remember to drop a beacon outside. Just so we know where things are in relation to the all the Aurora. Huh? Oh my god, it's still nighttime. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty scary for me in terms of like getting out of here. Is it okay if I drop it here or should I maybe Like, I don't think they're gonna do that, but sometimes after you make a lot of story progress or whatever, won't special things happen? <laughs> mm, I'll leave it in the... the shallow waters here. Oh my god! Oh my freak! Please. Thank you. Aurora entrance. Okay, I'll... I'll have a look around here. Uh, I think we should be fine. As long as we slip out immediately. Welcome aboard, Captain. Can I add a module to you, right here? Like, those four slots at the bottom? I might have to go back to the mobile vehicle bay to figure it out. Oh, the sun is coming up! Great! Yes, yes! Good. Maybe I'll wait a second. Just to make sure we're okay. Speaking of which... Take that power cell. Switch it out, thank you. Can the battery charger charge power cells? I'm not sure right now. Alright, now we're talking. Now we're talking. We're out of here. Time to go home. I'm trying to look for that trail of items we saw last time, but it's probably batteries. Sorry! Oh my god. Yeah, it's right here. It's probably batteries. We're fine, we're fine. I think we're alright. 
Didn't see the guy patrolling outside. Ooh! Hoo hoo hoo! Made a lot of progress today, I think. Well, actually, we learned a lot about random stuff, like how the, the two women broke up and whatever <laughs> on the Aurora. But in terms of, like, survival or getting out of here, well, we'll have to wait until we look at the blueprint once we go back. Something about the nuclear rocket. And then I'm pretty sure we got a lot of blueprints as we were walking out too. And three pieces of the prawn suit? I really hope I didn't miss the last piece, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just give it to me right away, right? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen oh frick. Decreased. Yes, moon pool. That was one of the things we got already too. Immediately. I think we already scanned enough. Yeah, we did. Okay. That was a long trip. Not too scary though. Time to go home. Time to go home. <laughs>